Good evening. How's everybody doing tonight? Happy Friday, Friday evening. We are, it is September 3rd. Wow, you all, we're going to roll out of this year fast, okay? It's September. It is September. So I have some great things I want to share with you. Actually took some notes so I can stay on task. So I'm not sure. Let's see. Yep. Anyone join yet? I'm so excited to share some great information with you. I want to help anyone I can to become successful, especially when you're on, you own your own business. I want to help anyone that I can to have some financial stability, um, confidence in, in running their business, understand more of what you need to do um, in your business, answer any questions about any products, however I can help you to be successful. So that's what I'm, I'm here to do. Hi, Queen Deborah. How are you? Good evening. Thank you for joining. How are you? <laughs> awesome, awesome. King Lawson, are you on right now? King Lawson. King Lawson. Huh? Can you join the live? Are you busy? Okay, okay. All is well. Awesome, awesome. Well, I don't want to hold or hold up or delay anything. I wanted to go over a few things. Um, if you can go to our group. Which group? Uh, for real changes. Facebook? Mm-hmm. <laughs> she said, Miss Deborah, Queen Deborah said, Hi, King Lawson. <laughs> hey, Queen, how you doing? How you doing? Awesome, awesome. I got some great things I want to share. Great things I want to share. Okay. So I actually titled this um, Three Ways to Get Your Business Started. Three Ways to Get Your Business Started. Um, a lot of times we want to say, hey, you know, let me start my business, but I want to kind of build that foundation of understanding what mindset that we have to be in, you know, um, sometimes you can be in a business for a while and then you're delayed or you stop for a while. So it's almost like you have to restart. So if we're saying, hey, let's relaunch or let's uh, restart um, the business, it can be, it's almost like a, um, a train that will slow down and stop. You know, first it has to get that momentum and everything going again before it gains that power to continue that trip. So um, this is, this is kind of what I wanted to, to help and assist with getting that mindset in, 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 in place so we can move forward you know all helping mm -hmm. one another out you know building this this business so three ways to get your business started um the first point that I have down is to um, create a business plan a lot of times you know we want to I, I don't know if you're like me but sometimes I keep things and I want to keep things in my head and I have the plan all the things that I want to do but how how many of you actually can't because of life and other things that may be happening in our life that we can forget the plan that we set out because we didn't write it down so if you get a call that day um you may need to help someone else out or do something or you get busy so the plan for your business can go on the back burner a <laughs> king lawson Thank you, King Lawson. So we 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 want to make sure that the first thing that you do in your business plan, and I found out that this is helpful. I mean, some people are tech savvy. They want to put it in their phone in a calendar. Fine. But I found out that calendars work for me. 
okay and usually and I have October up because I have a lot of writing usually I use my monthly calendar and then I have two calendars this is this is I have um one for um one that I use in my daily life and then one for my business you know so I could kind of keep up with some things so this is October what I'm showing here but I got a lot of stuff written on my um September but um and this will kind of show you the times and all you know so when I make an appointment at a glance I can see oh nine o'clock I got this or I'm doing this from this and this time so I only have this time open and so yeah write it down make it plain awesome oh yes so that way I get it out of my head and trying to to keep it in my head that I got to do this I get it out of my head and I write it down so the only thing that I have to train myself to do is to glance at my calendar okay so you want to make sure that you let people know that your time is important and when you write those things down you know listen you want to always be busy you know and a lot of us are always busy but always be always be you know in listen I have to schedule some time what's good for you you give people options you know day or evening okay in the day i have this time available and in the evening i have this time what's going to be good for you so narrow it down and let them know that you they are important whoever that person is that you're setting aside time aside to talk to them okay because your your, your time is so valuable your time is money so create a business plan which means to Make sure you're saying, and I'm going to kind of go over that, what that business plan will look like. Create a business, business plan. What type of time? So under create a business plan, what type of time do you have in that week that you're going to put towards your business? Okay. So let's just say next week, what will next week look like? And we can start next week. Um, we can say Sunday. From Sunday to Saturday, how much time, right now if you're thinking, you know, right in the, uh, in the um, <clears throat> comments, how much time next week will you have to put towards your business, realistically? You know, don't, don't overwhelm yourself, say 40 hours, and you know it's a lot of things that you're going to have to do, so you're going to be overwhelmed, and you don't want to create anxiety. So something that's realistic that you can begin to put aside that time. So you can say on an estimated time for next week from Sunday to Saturday, how much time do you have to put aside for your business? Okay, let's just go with, I'm going to say about, I'll say, okay, 20 hours. I love it. You read my mind, King Lawson. So let's just say 20 hours, okay? What does that look like? I mean, 24 hours in one day. So let's just say 20 hours, I can realistically realistically say I'm going to spend 20 hours towards my business, right? So what is that going to look like? You know, now you, you have estimated that time. So you look at your calendar and you're going to say, okay, is it going to be four hours in the evening for, uh, for five days a week or... Will it be, um, let's just say Saturday. I think I want to work like maybe about five hours on the Saturday. I want to do four hours. Okay, so Monday through Friday. Good job. Okay, so now it's looking like it's that business plan is coming together. Okay, it's not overwhelming. You got 20 hours. You're going to do four hours per day. Okay, is it going to be broken up in the morning, two hours in the morning, two hours in the evening, or all four hours in, in the evening? Okay, so now whatever you're doing, now you're creating your business plan because you have to mentally discipline yourself to say, what will my, my schedule look like? And a lot of times people get overwhelmed because they don't write it down. They just have it all in their mind. Okay, I'm thinking of 10 hours and that will be two hours per day. Okay, awesome. All right. Now, when you say that, okay, I'm going to commit this, you write that on your schedule. Don't try to keep that in your mind because now you're pens you are creating time for your business. Okay? 
So now, how much money do you want to make within next week? Because remember, okay, so seven to eight, okay, and then three hours from six to nine. Okay, great job. Okay, awesome. So now you broke it up. So that way you can kind of send out some messages and all that morning. And, you know, if you have a break in the afternoon, take about two or three minutes or whatever to say, hey, listen, uh, or do you have some time in the, in the evening? So you could kind of reach out to people in the morning and set those appointments for the evening or, you know, vice versa. Say, you know, follow up. Listen, can I give you a call and then set it up for the next day? As much as humanly possible. <laughs> you want to make as much as humanly possible. So now, Queen Deborah, you're saying, I have 10 hours in these seven days, and I want to make how much? Because remember, when you narrow yourself down with, with 10 hours, that's two hours a day. I'm going now you're you're saying okay so realistically what am I looking at making in those 10 hours now because we can you know I think for instance myself you know when I go to work for 40 hours on a job let's just say that that job may pay me a thousand a week let's just say a thousand a week but I'm working 40 hours so King Lawson says 750 because he's going to work 20 hours so let's just say half of that for 10 hours okay which would be what king lawson half of the 750 because you said 20 hours mm -hmm. a week so half of that would be um, what's that? 325 375 375 y'all know i'm not strong in math right <laughs> so let's say 375 a week because it's half of that okay mm -hmm. no realistically i will have to get my face out there first three 325 okay so you want to do the 325 okay so let's say okay awesome so I could t I could tell you how to make that 325 in the 10 hours but it may be some things that you'll have to do consistently so we're going to talk about that okay so now you narrowed it down now do you now you see what your business plan is looking like because now you're creating that expectation. Now you're saying, hey, I'm serious in this 10 hours. I got to do some serious work during this time, right? So now the plan is, it is clearer than just saying, hey, I want to make some money. We got to narrow down certain things. Narrow down what days you're going to work. Narrow down how many hours. And now narrow down your expectations so you will know what to do, okay? Now... You have to also understand what are you going to target? Which products are going to get you the monies that you're looking at making in your 10 hours? Okay, you got to target the products and I'll go over that in a few minutes. So now I want you to do now that was all step one. Creating a plan. That was all step one. Step two is to assess your strengths. Yes. Okay, so now you got to understand your strengths, okay? Okay, so now realistically, what are your strengths? Are you strong at, uh, you know, do, do you, um, do you, are you, are you strong at talking to people? Because some people, they, they have, they're shy, they are shy. So... They may not, that may not be a strong point for them. Um, some people may feel that um, they have a, pro a problem with, with a comfort level because they don't actually know the products. BD people, um, vision casting. Yes. Some people may say, I don't know what to say, or I don't feel comfortable, or they can talk themselves out of it. Communication may be a little bit more convincing. Okay. Okay. So you got to know your strengths, know the areas that you may need some help in. You know, we can say, hey, you know, I like talking to people, but you, you can be, I, I, many days I was right there in the grocery store right next to someone it was a lady with her baby in the in the uh uh what do you call it the stroller 
And the baby was young, and I was like, okay, this is a new mother. This is before the pandemic where you can actually talk to people um, more so. But it's still, there's ways that you can communicate. But still, if someone is now a six feet within you, <laughs> it used to be they said, if someone is three feet within you, go ahead and communicate with them um, about your business, even strangers. So you have to, you're, you're working on these comfort, these, these developing these areas so you, you can strengthen those areas. So for instance, there was a lady in, in the line at the grocery store in front of me, just, and I'm noticing because being observant, okay, she just had a baby, new mommy. So what I, I did, I had these, I got these trifolds and I'll show you trifolds about just the, with some of the products in it you can put your name and phone number on the back and your website on the back so i have my name already on these trifolds that shows that showed the products i had them already in my purse so i'm like excuse me can i give you one of my um one of my trifolds it, it i i have a health and wellness business and i see that you just had a baby this, this will help you. We also have garments for mothers. We have, you know, just, just great nutritious um, vitamins, supplements, all of these wonderful things here. Can you kind of look at it and give me a call so I can, you know, contact you about the information? And we're in a grocery store. This lady called me. She, she bought a reshaper from me. She talked to me on the phone. So it was great, you know. So anybody is your customer. If they're human... They are your customer, okay? Um, so don't just limit it to thinking that only the people that you know. It's people that you... I have sold many products to people that I do not know, just met in the store for the first time ever. You know, when I'm traveling, I talk to people, you know, in the store. But again, you know, now it's the situations you have to be careful. So if I work 20 hours and could potentially make $7.50, well, I push for well i would push for the 20 okay okay all right so and i'm going to get with i'm going to get with you on that one too as well so i wanted to cover this assess your strengths because you got to know what your strengths are you got to be honest with yourself if you don't like really talking to people we'll work on those ways of how to approach someone or ask them questions I would ask people like, excuse me, do you know anyone who would like to lose seven pounds in seven days? That was this, that was just always the basic, the basic awesome question. Okay. I got more yes me's from that basic question than any other question ever. Okay. So are you disciplined? Know your discipline level. If you select the 20 hours, you write the 20 hours in your schedule to work those 20 hours. You must be disciplined. That's why I'm, I say that it's better to write that plan down and begin to create it and hold yourself accountable than to just have it in your head because you write it on your calendar. You're going to say, I got to do this, you know, and, and, uh, and have your yourself as your accountability partner once you are writing it down. So know your discipline. Time management is so very important. Because when we commit to things, you know, um, I committed to helping someone, you know, my sister has her own business. Um, she needed, she had increased hours with this client. This is totally out of my field, my, <laughs> my area of expertise. You know, they're seeing, they do CNA work. I, I, this is totally out. I mean, she was out of town, needed me to go. She couldn't get back here fast enough. So, these were things that I did not expect. I'm helping her save her business and then being there until she hires somebody, all of those things. That's something I didn't even plan. A lot of times we may not plan something and we're included in somebody else's plan. But please trust and believe this. If you don't have a plan, somebody will use you for their plan. I'm just saying, they will feel like you are not busy, you are not doing anything, and you you should be available to help them. And I know a lot of times you may not, you know, think okay of it and think you want to help, but you you have to let people know that I work my business. These are hours that I have set aside, and I can't do, um, I can't help you right now. You know, so make sure 
that you let people know your time is valuable and you have scheduled that for yourself so you can generate income. Because if not, people, if you don't have a plan, people will put you in their plan, okay? So your time management. Um, your testimonies are very important. Your testimonies are very important. So it is important to use the products to get your own testimonies, to see how you feel, to see what's going on with your body, to see how you're losing weight and what you're taking. So it's very important for the products not to sit on your counter, the products not to sit, remain in the bottle. If it's in the bottle, it does no, no good for my body to detox because it didn't enter my body. It's in the bottle. It must get out of the bottle and into my system. That's the only way I'm going to have testimonies. There's so many people that have invested in businesses, have bought products, and never took the products. The products will sit on the shelf. The products will sit on the counter. I've had business partners. I mean, over the years, I'm serious. This is this is some serious stuff. They will invest $300, $400, $500 and buy all of this product because they want to be healthy. They want to lose weight. They don't want to look great. And they won't take one thing. And they tell me that I don't have time to take the products. And I'm like, but you said you wanted to lose 100 pounds or you wanted to lose 50 pounds. Yes, sir. You must become a product of your product. You must look like what you are trying to share with other people. You must have the energy, the excitement. You know, your skin glows, your, your system feels better. You, you, you can move around and have the energy. You got to exercise because you feel so much, you got so much energy. You can't sit down <laughs> when you start taking your products. But I hear the people that buy the 300, 400, $500 worth of products. They say that I'm tired. I can't do all of this. But you're tired because you're not detoxing. You're not taking the Smart Ultra. You're not taking the high energy. You're not, you're not detoxing your body. You're not taking the high energy. You're not, you got anxiety. You're not taking the Smart Ultra. But you're telling me you don't have time to take these. This, this, uh, these are some of the reactions I get. And... And I understand. I get it. I know life, you know, with the babies and the children and the life and the businesses and all. I understand. But the reason why p people ha want to have their own business is because they want to get away from all of the anxiety, all of the stresses, all of the, um, the unhealthiness of the situations that they're in. They want to change. But in order to change... It will take time management. It will take discipline. It will take focus. And it will take developing those habits. But in order to have your business and to become a product of the product and to for, for you to have testimonies, you must take the time out to do this. So think about it now. Now, I'm, all of this that I'm telling you, you're saying, wow, I got to do all of that? Are you kidding me? I got to do all of that. But the thing is, those are unlearning bad habits and, and, and learning good habits, putting some good things in place where now you develop those habits and you don't think anything of it. When I get up in the morning, I automatically go in and, and get my water. I automatically know to go get my vitamins and my supplements because I don't want to be dragging throughout the day. I don't want to have aches and pains. I don't want to have those things. I want to have energy. I want to be able to you know, feel vibrant. I want to be able to, you know, think and, and think clear. I actually wrote two, two books because I was, I'm taking all this smart ultra. That's what it is. I'm taking all of this and I'm writing books. <laughs> I should have had this 20 years ago. <laughs> so assessing your strengths, being disciplined, have your time management, using your testimonies, being a product of the product. And all of that is in your time. 
you're scheduling your time. Now you're scheduling your time for you. And guess what? You're winning because now when you're losing the weight, you're looking great, you're energized. People are going to ask you, what are you doing? Those are the customers that will notice what you're doing. And those are, are low-hanging fruit on the tree. You can sell products like this to those folks because they're going to come to you and say, what are you doing? You look different. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, queen. A walking, talking billboard. Honey, I, people knew me in Mexico, Puerto Rico, my picture all up in other countries and stuff. And I'm just doing my little videos, enjoying my little products, doing my little videos. So proud of, you know, I got my reshaper on and my dress on and looking cute and just happy and just singing songs and everything. And just, you know, just happy, vibrant. And didn't even know all of these other folks were paying attention to me. And then I had people, I've been watching you for two years. What I, I finally got to buy your product. You two years? Two years you've been watching me? <laughs> now you got to buy the products. You should have brought the products two years ago. Sometimes, you know, when folks cannot deny that you they see results, they will have to buy the products because... I've had folks that go buy other stuff so they won't have to buy it from me and none of their stuff works and they have to come right back to me. You'll have people, and I'm going to um, tell you about your that in a few minutes, the list, but you will have people that you're working with and sometimes you're working with them and, and they don't buy till the next year, but that's okay because you're going to need that money the next year too. So we'll talk about that as well. So... Are you afraid to share your business with people? A lot of times we may not understand that we have a fear of talking to people. We have a, a because we don't want to hear no. There's a book that um, that's out. What is it called? King Lawson about the no. Oh, um, I left it in the backseat car. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we... It is go go for no. Go for no. There's a book called Go for No. Um, we don't want to hear no. So we don't ask, so we won't hear no. But I say go after your 10 no's a day. You must get your 10 no's. Yes. Go after the no's. Can I share my business with you? Are you interested in, you know, are you looking, if you can improve one thing in your health, what would it be? Well, I'm no, I'm not interested. Okay, that's my one no. Hi, do you know anybody who, who needs to lose seven pounds in seven days? And you can be talking to someone who needs to lose 100 pounds, and they'll say no. That's your second no. Hey, can I share my business with you? I'm so excited. You know, are you looking to have some, some energy? Are you looking to, you know, just focus and, you know, yes, go for your no. No, I'm not interested. Okay, well, do you know anybody else? No. Go for your nose because trust me, when you're going for your nose and you already have your mind set that I'm just going to listen, I got to get my 10 no's today and you find out that you have five yeses and you still didn't get your 10 no's, you keep going till you get your 10 no's. Because you'll find out, oh my goodness, I'm selling products and I'm looking for a no and I got, I got yeses. I got all these yes, 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 yes. And I'm looking for my nose. So now I'm not afraid to get it a no. It doesn't bother me. Because I know that I got to at least get 10 in a day. And if I don't get 10 in a day, I'm like, wow. <laughs> Look at what happened. People actually were interested in, in, the, in the products and wanted to know more about it and actually purchased from me. And I was looking for a no. Now you're not intimidated by your nose. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So now you want to you want to know what to say to to folks. You know, you want to feel comfortable because a lot of times we get uncomfortable with, okay, what should I say to this person? You know. Um, so that's why I used to approach certain people because you don't want to offend them when you say something. You don't want to you say the wrong thing. So sometimes I would go up to, to Queens. I said, hi, you know, can I share my photo with you where in my health and wellness business, can I show you my before and after picture? 
don't even know these folks. And they'll be like, yeah. And they say, oh, my God, that's you? And I'm like, yes. I couldn't believe it. I wouldn't even post this picture before. And they're like, what you do? So it just depends on, and you know, I've never had anybody tell me, no, I don't want to see your photo. That's one thing. <laughs> I've never had them say that. But I showed them a real testimony of, can I share this with you? I'm just so excited, my before and after picture. And it was like, first of all, who, who does that? Who do you know wants to show you a before and after picture of them anyway? <laughs> You're like, okay. <laughs> So that's why I'm saying you're always, you're always in your business with people. You're always. So knowing what to say to people and being comfortable about it, you know, um, are you coachable? Are you coachable? Yes. Most people are also excited about what you're excited about. Yes. King Lawson people are, they do, you know, Think about it. You know, if somebody came up to me talking about photo, I'm like, yeah, let me see the photo. I mean, I don't even know this person, but because you're right, King Lawson, because that person is excited, I want to be excited too. <laughs> and that's true. People are like drawn to energy. People are drawn to the excitement. And when you're, you are approachable, you are the, if you, when you, um, seem friendly there's there's a book called um how to win friends and um and influence people so when you have a friendly disposition it kind of put the guards down of people smile a smile goes a long way it's amazing i mean would you want to spend money in in a place where someone really looks mad and they don't want to help you know they just have a whole the continence is just like mean looking i would take my money elsewhere so you're right. You must be have a teachable spirit. Yes, a coachable spirit. And um, be coachable. Um, yes, we want to all be coachable. You know, I'm always learning um, anything that is helpful for me. I'm excited about something that's duplicatable is a, a, a thing, too, as well as we get more um, business partners to work with us so that they can all grow because it's exciting to see people experience the money. It's exciting to see people actually lose the weight, feel great, be energized and share these testimonies, but also learning in addition to how we can, we can make more, do more and be more successful. So if I have, I learned something then I want to share it with, with you all. If you learn something, share it with me, but let's make it duplicatable enough where we can all be successful and do this. So King Lawson says, most people are looking for an outlet for their days with a simple new person, a new app. Yes, and a new attitude. Yes. So we want to make sure that we're all coachable, but guess what? We're ever learning. And if it's for the betterment of all of us to grow and to be um wealthy i'm telling you wealthy is great now seeing um other women flourish and 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 um do very well is the ultimate goal is the ultimate goal to see the very best um that purpose-driven destiny out of each of each one of us so being coachable and um, just learning from, from one another because, you know, you have things that you can teach me and I want to teach you as much as I can about this business, okay? So um, also, number three, investment. This business is an investment. This is an investment. Now, I love it because I, I mean, when you look at, look at the pandemic, you look at things that have shut down and gone down and, and we have a gold mind with all of these vitamins, all of these things that can build the immune system. Over 600,000 people have, have passed away, okay? And I just think that we have a gold mind because we have something that, I mean, uh, the glutathione alone in the liquid vitamin, high life liquid vitamin, will help with the lungs, help develop the lungs. We have something, you know, we got the liver detox. We have the total green, you know, ingredients in there to keep our liver clean. We have detox, cleansing, colon, you know, so many people die from colon cancer and all of those things. 
So the things that we have in place, they are gold mine nuggets, you know, where people can live a healthy life. But when you invest in it, a lot of times people think that they will have overnight success. Now, sometimes your overnight success may come after two or three years. Then you're a millionaire. Five years, then you're a millionaire. I was an overnight success after five years and three days. But the thing is, once you invest in your business, how long will you last in your business until it works? See, some folks say, oh, that didn't work. And I'm like, well, did you did you sell anything? No, I didn't sell anything. Well, uh, did you talk to anybody? No, I don't know anybody. Um, well... Did you did you go to any of the trainers? No, I didn't have time. Did you take the products? No, I didn't take the products. But it didn't work. Do, do you see what I'm saying? So you, in order, when you invest in something, then you schedule your time. You learn the products. You learn, you know what you what you need to say, and you keep doing that until you perfect or master that skill. So. People give up before, and then they say, oh, okay, I'll go do this. Oh, and that didn't work, and they'll do this. And that didn't work, and they'll do this. Well, it's not the business. It's the discipline and the mindset and the expectation of the person. So whatever you do, because if you look at anything that we, 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 this, when I look at sticky notes, sticky notes, this was created. This was a mistake. Sticky note. This was a mistake. They had a glue of paper that couldn't really stick on anything or whatever. And they sell these. <laughs> Everything. People sell dirt. People sell just false, fake plants. Just jewelry. Anything. They sell anything. <laughs> they're making money off of. So it is being consistent in your mindset of saying my business is important because anything, anything can make money. You know, tissues and just, just anything, envelopes, just anything <laughs> that exists. They're making some type of money off of. So what we have to do is say, my business is important and I'm going to put enough time in it until I see the manifestation of wealth in it, okay, to be consistent. Your customers, okay, this is number three, the investment time, okay, how long you will work your business, work your business and work your business. Don't work your business and say, okay, it didn't work and stop. Keep working it. Keep working, putting time in Think about bleach. Think about bleach. You all, we used to buy bleach for 98 cents. Bleach is, today is about $5. All of those years, they've been selling bleach for 98 cents. And now the pandemic is $5. And now you like, people was rushing and trying to get bleach and whatever else. And it was like gold. It was running, take. They couldn't hardly find anything like that on the shelves for months. Who would ever thought bleach would be so valuable? I don't think bleach will ever go down to 98 cents again. But they had to wait until it became that valuable to increase the, the um, purchase price, the retail price for, for bleach now. Sometimes you got to wait until that season that you're needed. Be consistent with that one thing until that season. Face mask. Whoever thought face mask. Nobody was running down to get no face mask at no time ever, except probably in the medical field. But just to think how valuable and all of those things that face mask. So you got to look at when your season. This this is this trillion dollar industry. Health and wellness is a trillion dollar industry. It never left from being a trillion dollar industry. It is the only, well, one of, besides makeup, 
So you mean to tell me during the pandemic people were buying makeup? Yeah, I was pressing on, you see my nails? I was pressing on nails, buying makeup. <laughs> Nowhere to go. And vitamins, weight loss stuff. People were still buying weight loss stuff, vitamins, and beauty products. The trillion dollar industry during a pandemic. Lipstick during a pandemic. Why? Because we got to look good. I'm sorry. We just got to buy it. We're going to eat. We're going to look good. We're going to look good. <laughs> so, what I'm saying is it didn't affect our industry at all. Nothing happened to us. People were still making money during this time. Okay? Your customer base. Who is your customer? Identify who, how, and when. When do you get your customer? So what, what I would suggest is um, when you're talking about your customers, are male and female are your customers. You, you will be surprised. And as, as a matter of fact, if you begin to introduce these detox cleansing colon more so to, that's a krill, detox cleansing colon more so to the kings, they buy this like, like hotcakes. Like, they love this stuff. Ask them, have you ever detoxed before? A lot of times they don't know. You get your little samples and begin to talk to the kings about this detox cleanse and colon. Okay? And um, I'm telling you, I have them. They order this. They buy this. Once you introduce this to them. So make sure that you, your customers, you know who it is and where and who that person is, what age. Um, with the children, we do have the gummies for, for kids. So that was this year, came out in um, July. That's a great thing. So now we have those for, for kids. I made sure I got mom, gave my grandsons those. And so we have, uh, if someone doesn't want, like to take capsules and vitamins, we have the liquid vitamin. We also have the total green where they can mix it up in in on um, water. So some I've had grown folks, so I can't swallow no pills. Okay, well I got a liquid vitamin then for you. So we do have those things in place, but knowing your product and know who your customer is and what would be a good fit for them. Who, how, when, where, you know. So um, number four, what is your why? You got to know your why. Why you join the business because your why is going to motivate you. Why my husband and I got into a health and wellness business because we were unhealthy. I was going to the hospital. I was on high blood pressure pills. I was having anxiety. Thought I had a stroke. I mean, my why is I have to be healthy. We have to be healthy for our children and grandchildren. Our why is we have a son in medical school. He's, I mean, well, no, he's a surgeon. He's about to, about to get his offer in May of what, where he's going to work. Um, that, that tuition alone, over $200,000, I, we want to help our children where they don't have to work and pay, pay, paying salaries, their salaries towards tuition. We want to do that. We want to have monies for our grandchildren. You know, we want to be debt free. So, um, so we have family members who, who need things, you know? And so we want to help our family. We want to establish a legacy with our name. So knowing your why, knowing why you have to do this. Sometimes you might have to write it on your a sticky and stick it on a, your computer. Why are you doing this? Why you have to get up and call, a, call these customers? Why you have to keep reaching out? Because you have a trillion dollar industry that is recession proof. Right, King Lawson? It is recession proof. Okay? So your why. Why did you want to start the business? You got to know that. And you and, and that helps you with your testimony. I started my business because I have family that, that I need to help financially. I have a son that I need to pay off their his uh student loan from med school. We have we have grandchildren that we want to set aside money so that they can have a choice of going to college, buy a house, or start a business. We want to be debt free. So you got to know your why when you talk to people. And this was a means. This was a vehicle towards doing that. All health leads to all industry. Yes. 
Yes. Why is it important? Is health important to you? You know? Are finances important? So this is your why. Finances, that's important. You know, the more money you have, the, the more comfort you can have in your life. It is not comfortable being poor. It is not comfortable needing. It is not comfortable being the beggar and not the lender. It is not comfortable. It's not comfortable trying, trying to count pennies. It's not comfortable trying to figure things out and worry about stuff. So we must be wealthy. We must be put in a place where we can generate income so we can have a lasting legacy. Number five, surround yourself with motivated people. Now you're going to meet the dream snatchers. You're going to meet people that said it doesn't take all of that. You're going to meet people that said, oh, that's one of those things. You know, those pyramid things. Now, they don't think that they are in a pyramid when they go work for somebody. They work for somebody's company who got who has the CEO, then they have the managers, then they have the supervisor, then they have the, the overseers, and then it's them. They don't think that they're in a pyramid. They think that they're going to one day own that company that they work for that CEO, but not going to happen. So this gives you an opportunity to be able to make the income that you need to make or would like to make it's in your hands. It's not according to going and clocking in on somebody's job and them telling you what you have to make. Not saying there's nothing wrong with that because in Ecclesiastes it says, um, you know, that when you come home, don't let your hands sit idle. Go ahead and start do working on your own business because you don't know which one's going to prosper. Mm -hmm. I've been broke. I've been rich. I prefer rich. I'm I guess you were about to say you you didn't put rich on there, but I prefer <laughs> yes, rich. rich. Oh, it is. It must be further down. <laughs> okay. So yes, yes, sir. So surround yourself with motivated people. Number six. I'm almost finished. <clears throat> um, understand your comp plan, or at least the first three, and I'll kind of go over that. I put up the comp plan. You want to be able to retail your products, okay? You want to be able to um, use, utilize your website, you know, saying something. Because some people, I met with the teacher, um, I she wanted a, you know, um, an amount on a few of the products, and I sent that to her. But I also sent her my website because I wanted her to know I'm giving you information from my retail website. So she went in also, and she said, okay, I'll take this and this. So she didn't buy the three things. She bought two, but she at least was able to go in and see, I'm not just making up a price. These are my prices. So she'll say, okay, I'll get the next one on uh, when I get paid. You see, so, so when you send somebody something, send them your website. You don't have anything to hide. These are my prices. This is my website. So knowing your website, you know, and how to get that to someone, how to actually send them information on how much it would cost shipping and tax and um also knowing how to give samples out and then follow up with them the next day because you when you give them instructions on taking that detox or whatever that is that they you, you would take you follow up with them to say how did it work you know and they're like yes how much is it and you all, all have a price for them okay so that's retelling your products, you know. And then someone says, hey, how can I join the business? I need another source of income. They can actually join and you will talk about the packages and everything, how they can come up and you get a certain percentage of that. So you want to make sure that you actually um, share that with constantly. You're, you're, you're making those initial monies from those three ways. You want to at least utilize those three things. Be a professional. Know your comp plan. Yes, absolutely. Okay, number seven, make a list. I know this might be hard, y'all. It is hard because you will start making that list and say, I know no one. But you will be surprised who you know. Make a list, list of people when within the next 24 hours to 48 hours. So I would say between Saturday and Monday. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Between Saturday and Monday, this, I'm sorry, not, yeah, Saturday and Monday, Saturday and Monday, 
Make a list of 50 to 100 people. Let me tell you how to start your list. Look in your phone. I'm sur I probably got about 500 people in this phone when I start looking through it like, oh my goodness. It's names in here that you have forgotten, not unless you clean it out often or whatever. Or you got a new phone and it didn't transfer any of your information over. But I have so many names in here. By the time I go through, then other names start coming to me. So make a list of the family and the friends. Go on your Facebook. See people who liked your page. Make a list with their, you know, put them on there as well. You know, any family or friends. Um, if you have family... Go to your family page on Facebook and look at who their friends are. You know, just start making your list. Don't don't try to remember if you're thinking, no, that person won't do it. No, that person won't do it. You need your no's. Write that. Write them down. You need those no's. Write them down. That will be your live working list. If you opened up a building and you had you you know this is where your your business is going to be you open up the building you cut on the lights you put your computers in there you, you got your desk and all in there you got your paper your coffee machine little refrigerator you got a little fans in there or whatever little you know small fan because you know how you overheat you know whenever it get real hot in the office there's too many people working in there <laughs> but anyway you got your over you just think about your office so now how are you gonna get your customers who you going to talk to? This is how you generate your customer list. Every business will need customers. So you're generating your customer list. Not saying going out and get a building. Not saying doing all of that overhead. Because you can work your business from California one day. You can go to Atlanta the next week. You can go to Alaska. You can go to Miami. You can go to New York. You can work this business from anywhere if you decide to travel, okay? You just have your little calendar, your little list of customers, and you can work your business. And you're going to meet new people, you know? So 50 to 100 people. So start working on your list. I'm Trust and believe. Even if those folks don't buy from you this year, when you go back, they'll say, you'll have little notes, follow up, call me tomorrow, da 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 da, da. So that's why it's important to know what hours you're going to work, know the time, got your calendar, you know, so you can narrow down when you're going to follow back up with them. But we're going to start making your list. That's important. Okay, number eight, make a plan of how much income you're going to uh, make on a weekly basis. And we talked about that away as well. When, once you make that list, you start making that plan. You got to build a pipeline. You have to build a pipeline, meaning that once you start talking to the people, you start getting your no's, and then you're going to get your yeses, then you got to follow up, and then you now you're building a pipeline, and you're going to be busy, especially when you start working and manage your time. Consistently, you're going to be, I would be talking to people 6 o'clock in the morning. It used to be seven, 6 o'clock, somebody uh, saw my post on, on Facebook. And they responded, and I responded back. And then they said, well, I'm like, when can you talk? And they said, I can talk not now. And it's been 6 o'clock in the morning. They're on their way to work. You know, and sold products. And, okay, I'm going to call you back, and we're going to get, you know, I'm going to send you how much it is, da 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 <laughs> So, you know, when you start doing that, you start working from your list, you are going to get responses and now you're building your pipeline and now you're creating and always ask for referrals. Do you know anyone else? And usually people will advertise for you without you asking, especially if they love the products. So they'll call and say, hey, my sister want this too. Hey, my friend want this too. So they're giving you free customers. Okay, so remember, <laughs> work from your list. It's, it's really important. And you're going to add from that list, and you're going to end up contacting people and following up with them and all of this good stuff. And you want to make sure you always follow up with your customer to make sure they took it and to hear feedback and, you know, and to find out, okay, so in addition to you go ahead and detox your liver this month, I mean, your, your, you use the detox this month, you want to do your liver, so you want them to be able to rely on your products you want them to call you for your the, the products you because they are, have a connection with you and they are the products are working for them.
Okay, number nine, affirmations daily. Affirmations over your business, affirmations over you. You know, I am great. I am wonderful. Queen Deborah, you know, Deborah is wonderful. Deborah is great. Deborah is fantastic. Deborah is outstanding. You know, my business is doing wonderful. I have great expectations um, for my business. We will make $1,000 this week. We will, will um, make $10,000 next month. You got to say, uh, God God will send the, the, um, the customers that need my products to need to feel better and healthier. You know, you got to begin to speak affirmations. We will be prosperous. My business is blessed. You got to speak affirmations over your business every day and over yourself. Okay. Um, get you some business cards. I know that we have those trifolds. I want to start using those again. Um, trifolds and I'll, uh, get with you Queen Deborah on to see if you have, have those, but I'll get with you on how those look too as well. I have business cards too. I created some business card. I think they might have been fourteen dollars. They give you five hundred. You can there's some that's nine dollars. You know, just and some and I give people this and and look, it has my before and after picture in the back. Just something that I created, so I can just give people you know something that hey, give me contact me. I'm old school. Some people say well, you know they can they can put their name in. I ask people, uh, is this your phone number and name? You know, can I have your phone number follow up with you? And I'll show it to them or let them put it in the phone or whatever. So um, do a, a one minute video and we'll talk about that eventually on the one minute videos. And or just take a picture of you holding your product, holding the detox. Just take a picture of you. you, you people are nosy. They want to know what is that and what you're doing. Those are your customers. <laughs> Put it like a commercial. You know how if you're watching TV or something, a commercial will come on three times a day or four times or five times during that TV uh, movie that you're watching? Guess what? They want you to buy that product. It works. It works for them. It worked for me, so it'll work for you. Put this post it morning, post it in the afternoon, and it takes two seconds. Post it in the evening. You holding the picture of your detox like this. They want to know, what's that? What you do with that, girl? What? Say, I love this. And they're like, what is that? You know, are you looking to lose seven pounds in seven days? This is it. You got customers. Simple stuff, okay? So do that three times a day. And number 10, I am finished now. Smile. <laughs> smile, smile. <laughs> Energy and excitement in a pandemic is a breath of fresh air. That's all I got for you tonight. You have a great evening. Looking forward to talking to you soon. Lots of love to you. Much success. Um, um, Saturday at 12 o'clock noon, I'm going to do like a package product training. Hopefully you'll join me. If you have any questions, let me know. I want you to be successful and you will. Have a great evening.